Wyatt. With Eleanor Donahue, Billy Gray, and Lauren Chapin in 24 Hours in Tyrant Land. Brought to you by the United States Treasury Department in patriotic cooperation with the American Federation of Labor and Congress of Industrial Organizations and Screen Gems Incorporated, a subsidiary of the Columbia Pictures Corporation. Hurry up! Come running, everyone! I have a big deal to discuss with you. Hi, uh -huh, Daddy! What's the big deal? I want you to help me make a very important decision. Ooh. Hey, it's about putting in a swimming pool. My vote, yes. Here's another eye vote. Well, I can tell you, you right me? now, it's not about a swimming pool. Something much more important. So sit down, everyone, and listen. Well, I see a big rack of literature here. Are we planning another Whitfield freight boat trip to the Bahamas? Yeah! yeah. Oh, no, not this time. Oh, more do-it-yourself literature on how to build a house trailer in your spare time. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not even warm. I've been offered a pretty big job. Well, yeah. Yeah. How much do you get paid? Nothing. Nothing? Isn't that a little low, Dad? I'll get nothing except the satisfaction of knowing I've helped strengthen our country so we can keep the most precious thing we have, peace. Well, that sounds very patriotic, Father, but I, I don't see what you're driving at. Yeah, what's the jazz, Dad? Well, the jazz is this. Your old beaten-up father's been asked to be the head cheese of Springfield's United States Savings Bonds campaign. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 When do you start? Well, I haven't accepted yet. Uh, big job, lots of responsibilities. I want to be sure I'm the man for it. Well, what would you have to do? Plenty. We need to convince every family in town of something we Andersons know, that you can build that nest egg that will make the family dreams come true, either through the payroll savings plan at the plant or the bond a month plan at the bank. Now, of course, there are lots of volunteers on the job, businessmen, organized labor, women's groups, banks, schools, or even the kids themselves. But somebody has to coordinate this whole business. And that's where the Secretary of the Treasury wants Jim Anderson. Why, we can spread this bond story through the newspapers, on TV, on billboards, at plant rallies, in union meetings, in clubs, schools, everywhere. But Jim, that's a terrific job. You'll need a lot of help. Right. So first, I want to know if I can count on my family to help me. Oh, you don't have to ask that. What do we do first? Well, I'll need you to head up a committee to work through the PTA and uh, various women's groups. I'll need each one of you to work through your school. Well, Father, I, I'd like to help you, but well, with the load I'm carrying at school and all, I, I just don't have time. Well, of course you don't have time. No one does. You have to make time for something like this. But it's worth it. Now, first of all... Gee, Dad, I, I know this is a good bit, but, but to be realistic, I'd be just wasting my time. You know, the, the guys I know, they, they need what little money they have for uh, other things. They can't afford to spend it on U.S. savings bonds. Spend? Where does anyone ever get the idea that you spend money on these bonds? You're putting it away for yourself, where it'll draw interest. Did you ever hear anyone say, I'm going to the bank to spend money into my savings account? Well, no. All right, then. And more than saving, you're doing this. You're sharing in America. And furthermore, you're providing for the big things in your life, the things that you want someday. Home, college, security, retirement. Daddy, I don't think the kids in my bunch are much worried about retirement. <laughs> okay, wise guy. But I must say I'm disappointed in you, kid. I thought you'd jump at this chance. I thought you'd realize the importance of it, the seriousness of it. Well, we would like to help you, Father, but... But you're not going to. All right. That's what I came home to find out. You made my decision for me. I'll tell them they'd better get someone else for the job. Now, Jim, I have something to say about this. No, it's no use, honey. What kind of a chairman would I make if I can't even sell my own family on the importance of this? Well, I'm ashamed of you children. And I insist that they pitch in and help. Oh, that's no good. You can't run an effective campaign if you have to force people to volunteer against their will. Come on, I'll help you get dinner. Boy, what a disappointment this is to me. Wait a minute, Dad. Yes, what? I'm sorry we let you down. 
I know, I know how you feel, and, and I don't blame you. You know, actually, you're probably better off out of it. What? Better off out of it? Yeah, you'd be knocking yourself out on this job day and night. And like Claude's dad says, for what? For what? Just what did Claude's dad mean by that? Well, I don't know exactly. I was over there the other night studying with Claude, and Claude's dad was sitting there reading the paper, and he said, <laughs> Well, I see the boys back in Washington have coined up a new phrase to sell their savings bonds. <laughs> Look at that. Smeared over a whole page. Peace power. <laughs> and what does it mean? Nothing. Oh, I always thought the U.S. savings bonds were a pretty good thing. Oh, nothing wrong with savings bonds. But why all the fuss about this peace power? Doesn't the Washington bunch give us credit for having brains enough to figure out that bonds are just a good, common-sense investment? Why waste all our time on this, this patriotic stuff, I ask you? Now, well, we got to study now, Pop. That's the stuff. You boys study and get smart. So they don't pull the wool over your eyes when you grow up. Get smart. <laughs> That's the thing to do. And you believe that? Well, after all, Claude's dad's no dummy. Did you hear what your brother's been telling us? Well, I think maybe Claude's dad has a point. I don't think those slogans do much good. It'd be better just to say that it's a good investment. You put in so much money, and you get so much interest. People understand that. You mean you don't believe that buying bonds has anything to do with strengthening our country, preserving peace, protecting our way of life? Well, Father, I'm old enough to know that in, in any sales campaign, you, you have to hit on a, a, a pitch. Yeah, a, a pitch to attract buyers. But when you come right down to brass Well, hats, by George, now I've heard everything. Talk about apathy. Indifference. And in my own home. Do you kids realize what would happen if everyone in America was as little concerned about our way of life as you are? Why, freedom would go zinging right out the door. Oh, you know that's not going to happen. It could happen much easier than you think. And if it did, if this freedom were suddenly taken away from you, as it has been in some countries, you'd be the loudest walkers of all. Your kind always is. I don't think you could take it. I'll bet you couldn't stand up under it for 24 hours. 24? Uh, how much you want to bet? I don't want to bet. I just want to get across to you that... Wait a minute. Maybe I do want to bet. Yeah, maybe I do. Uh-oh. I don't like that look in your eye, Daddy. Listen, as a rule, I'm against gambling, but this is one gamble I have to take. Now, let's see. What will the stakes be? Well, first tell us what the bet is. The bet is this. For 24 hours, you are going to live not in America. Huh? But in, um, uh, tyrant land. Tyrant land? Where's that? Right here. And I'm the tyrant who runs it. Call me the dictator or what you will. I make the rules, give out the orders, everything. Oh, boy, this sounds like fun. If you can stand it for 24 hours, you win. But if you come begging to me to get out of it before the time is up, you lose. Lose what? Your loss will be this. I'm going to give each one of you $18.75. Give us? Are you kidding? $18. Boy, I'm for that. Ten. If you lose, you have to use the money to buy a U.S. savings bond. That'll buy a $25 bond. Furthermore, you have to volunteer to work with me in the campaign. Now, if you win, that is, if you blast out for 24 hours, you can use the money for anything you want, and you don't have to volunteer. Is that a deal? Well, you bet. Is it a deal? How now, can we now, lose? Now, now, wait. Now, this sounds too good. There has to be a catch in it. No catch. I've told you everything. And I'll only use the methods that are actually used in those countries. Still want to go through with it? Oh, You're sure. Right. Okay. We will start at uh, 8 o'clock this evening. We'll meet in the hall at 8. Boy, what a cinch bet. Boy, I'll bet. <laughs> I wish it wasn't quite so cinchy. Well, look, what can he possibly do that we can't stand for a day? <laughs> it's the easiest 1875 I ever made. Tyrant land. 
Bring on your worst.